guys, for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this like formal but kind of natural but really pretty I think makeup look that would be so good for prom or graduation or whatever you have coming up so I hope that you like it and let's get started. First day I'm going to use my NYX Studio Photogenic Primer to just even out my skin tone and fill up my pores. Now I'm going to let that settle into my face a little bit, wet my beauty blender, and then apply my NYX Stay Matte but not flat. I'm using the shade Soft Beige. I have never used this before. I got it in the mail today, so I'm really excited to try it. brighten that and then also on any spots or blemishes that I may have. I'm just going to take a brush and some of my e.l.f. high definition powder and just powder the areas that get really shiny on me and oily which is mostly my t-zone and then just anywhere else that I feel like I need to do. Now that I've done my base I'm just going to quickly go in and fill in my eyebrows because they need it. And I'm just going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Soft contour with the NYX Matte Bronzing Powder and a fluffy brush. This is my first time using this NYX Bronzing Powder and if you don't tap it off, there can be a lot of product on your brush and it will look way too heavy. that it follows your lower lash line and it's like a wing so that when we put on our eyeshadow and our liner it already has the wing there so you don't even have to worry about it. Okay so first I'm going to take a fluffyish brush and I'm using a couple colors from this Sigma Fall Softly palette that has a lot of really pretty pastel and neutral shades so I'm just going to be taking this skin tone color and putting that all over my lid. I'm going to take a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush and this taupe color and put that in my crease just to add a transition shade. I'm going to bring that even a little bit higher than my crease. Now I'm going to take my bronzer color that I did my contour with and just put that on the outer corner of my crease and bring it down to the lash line. That's not quite as dark as I wanted the outer corner, so I'm just gonna take a darker uh, bronzer shade and put that right where I just did the other one. To get some shimmer on the lid, I'm actually gonna use a highlighter, and this is the Gerard Cosmetics Highlighter in shade Bridget. Take a smaller blending brush, just get some of that on my brush and put it on my lid up to the crease. Now that we have done that, I'm just going to take my Sigma Gel Eyeliner and my Sigma Winged Liner Brush and just follow my tape line and then drag it onto my lash line. put some brown eyeliner on my lower lash line and blend that out with my bronzer and a smaller blending brush. 
Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and some of my pink highlighter shade and just put that on my lower lash line right on the inner corner. Because the tape took off some of my concealer, I'm just going to brush away any fallout from my eyeshadow and just put on some more concealer. with my bronzer to just bronze it up a little bit more because why not and I just love to do that. <laughs> I'm going to take a super fluffy brush and some of this CoverGirl Clean Glow blush and just put that right on the apples of my cheeks and blend it up towards my hair. I'm going to just curl my lashes, put some mascara on the top and bottom lashes and then apply these Sejour lashes in the kind Scarlet. eyeliner and put it over the band if there is any glue showing. So that is the finished eye look and now for the lips I just put some chapstick on just so that my lips are moisturized. I'm going to line my lips with this NYX uh, lip liner in the color natural and then see what I feel like. That's the technical way to do it. this matte liquid lipstick from Lipland that is in I think the shade Reezy I'm not quite sure it doesn't say it on it but it's just a really pretty uh, light nude color this makeup look I'm just going to use this NYX matte finishing spray because you want your makeup to be set and stay all night long and not be moving around your face so I'm just gonna take this and hold it like a foot away from my face and spritz my face so I hope you guys liked this look I know that it is more toned down it's not one of the bright makeup looks that I've been doing recently but I think that it is so pretty and natural and perfect for springtime and any events that you have coming up. So I hope that you guys liked it and I will see you next week with another tutorial.